The use of copper in India has been traced back to Vedic times. Archaeological copper collections from prehistoric times bear testimony to the existence of a flourishing copper industry in India. Copper, the oldest metal known to mankind, is a vital ingredient for a nation on the move. religious ritual to industrial application in communication transportation electronics defense and so on These barren hillocks in the Chunjanu district of Rajasthan were mined way back some 2,000 years ago. Life was difficult and the people had to cope with the harsh environment. The Mughals mined this area for copper in the 17th century. There were two mints functioning in the Khetri region in those days. This is the K3 Copper Complex today. Hindustan Copper Limited was born here on November the 9th, 1967, 25 years ago. It is the largest mining cum metallurgical unit of copper in the country. In 1991 92, it produced about two million tons of ore from its two underground mines at Khetri and Kolihan and the open pit mine at Chandmari. The grey rocks containing around 1% copper begin their metamorphic journey to the concentrator for enrichment as froth with shiny copper minerals. This froth contains 20% copper and is called the concentrate. This is then filtered and dried. The dry concentrate is sent for smelting in the flash furnace. The smelter unit produces matte and anode copper. The refinery plant converts the anode into cathode copper, which is 99.99% .99 pure. These cathodes are melted for being cast into copper wire bars. The wire bars are checked for quality, certified, and then dispatched to the warehouse for sale. The gases from the copper smelting process are converted into sulfuric acid, which is used for manufacturing fertilizer. The Indian copper complex at Ghatshila in Bihar is the oldest copper production unit in the country and has been operating since 1928. In 1972, the government of India took it over from private management and amalgamated it with Hindustan Copper Limited. It is a major unit of the company, producing one and a half million tons of ore from five underground mines. One of them at Musaboni is the second deepest in India, extending to a depth of 1,500 meters. At the Ghatshila plant, gold and silver are recovered from the refinery anode slime. Other byproducts are selenium and tellurium. The Lunchkhand Copper Project is located in the tribal district of Balaghat in Madhya Pradesh. This is the single largest open pit copper mine in India. 
ore is concentrated in the beneficiation plant. The copper concentrate goes to the K3 copper complex for smelting and refining. Kaloja in Maharashtra is the youngest unit of Hindustan Copper Limited, having started in 1990. Copper cathodes from K3 as well as imported cathodes are continuously cast and rolled into copper wire rods for the sophisticated telecommunication industry and to meet the most exacting standards of the cable and wire industry. The Taloja plant produced 21,636 tons of copper rods in the first year. Hindustan Copper Limited was the outcome of a much felt need to establish an organization for exploiting the copper reserves in the country. An integral part of the company's philosophy of planned growth is to build a strong research and development base. The scientists and engineers have several breakthroughs to their credit. The company's human resource development through its regular training programs and refresher courses enable the employees to improve their capabilities and make a positive contribution to the growth and success of the organization. As a public sector enterprise, Hindustan Copper Limited is alive for all-round harmonious living in well-planned townships, free from the hassles of urbanization. The townships have all the basic amenities, housing, schools, shopping centers, hospitals, sports and recreation facilities, all designed to make the workers members of one large family, that is Hindustan Copper Limited. The company has implemented a series of socio-economic programs in the villages around the projects. The schemes cover supply of clean drinking water, family welfare, adult education, forestry, welfare of women, rural health camps, and an integrated rural development program. All this for qualitative improvements in the life of the people who can look forward to a better tomorrow. 1992, the Silver Jubilee year of Hindustan Copper Limited. These 25 years have brought a new hope, a new awakening and a new vision among the people. The setting up of large industrial units has opened up new vistas of growth and development for the people in the backward regions. They have shed once and forever the traumatic yoke of the past. Hindustan Copper not only provides the primary copper in India, but as an industrial organization has ushered in refreshing winds of change in the regions where it is working. That is the crowning success of Hindustan Copper Limited.